Let's get acquainted with this stunning wig. Her name is Shakerado in the color Roca Margarito Blonde. She's a stunner, coming up next. This style was purchased with my own funds from Wig Studio One. I've dropped a link below the show notes for you if you'd like more information. Hi, I'm so glad you're here. I'm Angela Francis, someone with gray hair, and on this channel I review silver gray, white wigs, hair pieces, toppers, and other times I'll talk about the care of our natural gray hair and other beauty related topics. Now wait, in my introduction, did I just say Roca Margarita Blonde? Yes, I did. Yes, I did say the word blonde. Before I go any further, I want to tell you how I found this wig. I actually had been watching one of Taz's reviews, and I think it was about a month ago, and she reviewed Shakerado. And I remember at first the name Shakerado, I'm like, wait, what? What, is, what kind of name is that? Well, Shakerado is actually an Italian drink, and it's a refreshing drink. They prepare it with espresso and ice cubes, and it's actually very widely obtainable in Italy. So. For whatever reason, that's where the name Shakerado came from. But anyway, so I was watching a video about a month ago from Taz, Taz's Wig Closet, and Taz was reviewing this wig. And as I was watching in my monitor, I honestly, I saw a lot of white. And if you follow me, you know that I love to see a lot of white in a wig. And I'd like that to be the predominant color with some dark shades for depth and so on. So anyway, as I was watching Taz, I just fell in love with this, with this wig. And now as I'm looking in my monitor, I don't see as much white. I see quite a bit of blonde. Not enough to put me off, but more blonde than I'm used to. So Taz, you sold me this wig. <laughs> And so here it is, and it's been sitting on my own shelf for about a month now, and I'm, I'm so thrilled to, to bring it to you. I know a lot of my viewers follow me because I do review the silver gray and the white, but I, I love this one, and I didn't think that I would like her on me, but so far so good. We'll see what, we'll see what the friends and, and my husband say. So let me give you some details about this particular wig. Um, she, her color, her colors are silver, pure ash, coconut blondes with a soft, cool, medium, and light brown root. So I'll talk about that a little bit later. I am trying to get the actual colors from Beltress, the colors that make up the words that you see. Um, for instance, what quote, color is silver. Is it a mixture of 5660? Is it all sick? What is it? I'm trying to find that out. So Shakerado is part of the Cafe Collection by Beltress, which was introduced earlier in 2021. One of the things that I love the most about this, of course, is has a gorgeous, gorgeous lace front. Look at that lace front. It's just beautifully done. And the other thing that's wonderful about this is she's not flopping in your face. You can, you can bring the fringe down into your face if you want, but if you want to wear her back, it's been sewn and designed so that the fringe will stay up without always flopping. And I remember Taz had said that in her review, and that really caught my attention because a lot of us like the longer fringe, but we don't want it falling in our, falling in forward in our forehead so that it's constantly bothering us. And the other thing is it has a very face flattering seven inch fringe or bang so that that's going to frame your face really nicely and it, it's not just going to look like you have hanging hanging hair so you can see she has a very 
attractive kind of a beachy wave to her. I didn't comb it too much because I didn't want to comb that curl out, right? But she has a beautiful kind of a beachy wave to her. She is from the crown down. She's 20 to 21 inches. So she's quite long. She is quite long. You can see I'm sitting in a chair and she comes just about down to my bra strap if that helps you any. And there she is in the back. I hope you can see that. And now let me show you the right side. I know I'm going to have to get up so I can show you. There's not a lot of space between me and my backdrop here. But I think that the great thing about this wig is that she's not so dense. She's very believable. I mean, I have a daughter-in-law whose hair is so thick you could make four wigs, but most of us don't have hair that thick, so in that case, it's very, very believable to not have so much hair in the wig. And she's very light. She weighs about 4.3 ounces. Very, very light on the head. She does have the monofilament part, so it looks like the hair is literally growing out of your scalp. She has a nice, deep part. There's lots and lots of room. There's that gorgeous drape of that left side part draping right down, right down over the eye if that's what you want. Or you could just, as I said, you could just bring her right up and she will stay there. So she has the temple to temple lace front, and I have put a little bit of it stays. I usually put it stays just right here, just at my widow's peak, just so that it doesn't start to ride back because pretty much all wigs are going to ride back on me. And in a, in a few moments, I'll take off the wig and I'll show you, I'll show you the, the cap construction. She's very soft. Very believable. She feels just like real hair. She's very feminine, very romantic, isn't she? She's heat friendly. Although I probably wouldn't do anything with a hot iron. I would probably just, or a heat tool, I would probably just leave her the way she is. And if she starts to lose her wave, eventually I would just give her a wash and then let her hang dry because I'm She's about 20, 21 inches long from the crown all the way down. I think I said the bang is seven inches long. She does have the extended nape. We'll look at that in a little bit. She's got the ear tabs. She's got the bra-like strap adjusters. She's got all the bells and whistles. She's heat friendly, so you can get at her with a heat tool if that's what you want to do. Of course, be careful with your heat tools. Don't go too hot. Her nape is 14 inches. From the nape down is 14 inches. So you've got plenty of hair here, but it's not too thick. And it's not heavy at all. It feels very light. I'm sitting in the hottest room in my house right now, and I am not perspiring. So that is a good sign. She's open wefted, so she's nice and cool on your head. There's no thick permities teeny teeny tiny little bit just for lift but nothing heavy nothing that's going to bother you if you don't like permities she's just beautiful and very very light the cap is very comfortable i think that you will really if you're not a long wig wearer i think that you really would 
would like this one because again there's things that you can do with her I'm gonna do a little bit of styling right at this point and then I'll take her off and I'll show you I'll show you the cap so what one of the things that I could do is just pull her on the side right like I do with Angelica so far Angelica has been one of my favorite long wigs but I think this one even though she's got a lot of blonde for my taste I wish she did have a little bit more white and I will tell you when I looked at the um, you know how they have the color chip at at the website at the Beltress website in the color chip it looked like she had more white in her so it's not that I think that they're trying to, um, what's the word I'm looking, it's not that I think that they're trying to mislead anyone, but it almost looked like Illumina R in the, in the color chip. It almost looked like Illumina R from Noriko, if you're familiar with that color, which is really like a silver white, and then they have a dark root. That's what the color chip looked like. At the, at the website at Beltress on this particular wig. So, you know, you could pull her, on the, pull her on the side like this. And, of course, I would take this part here and just make sure it's clipped back. If you don't think that you can wear a long wig, you can wear a long wig. Even if you just want to wear it for a special occasion. Let's do some styling, and then I'll show you the inside of the cap. I'll even go outside for you so you can see her on, on the outside on my back deck. Okay, now I wanted to take you down into one of the sunnier places in my home and show you as I hold this up to the sunlight. I don't know if you can see all the yellow, not yellow, all the kind of sandy brown, the dark root, the gorgeous... Parting. Just beautiful. Let's take a look at the wig cap on the inside. Of course, you can see all the open wefting there. That's making her very cool on the head. When I was outside, it was very comfortable. And you have the extended belt covered nape there. You have the bra strap type adjusters the covered ear tabs with the metal stays in them very comfortable and then there, there's that all important lace front temple to temple lace front monofilament top very wide parting and then you've got a teeny tiny i mean teeny teeny tiny bit of Permatease. I even, almost hate to even say that word because if you don't like permatease, it's not going to bother you at all. And then there's that gorgeous, gorgeous lace front. 
and then there you can see more of that rooting, how that rooting looks. she is in full sun it honestly the the fibers are not shiny at all just I don't normally purchase a wig with any blonde in her at all but she's beautiful she's beautiful mm -hmm. 